Yes, thank you. I haven't seen you in here before. First time. Do you need any help? Thanks, I can manage. Oh. I've just made some tea. Would you like a cup? Thanks, no. Well, I wouldn't say no too quickly if I were you. Not everybody gets offered tea in here. Thanks very much, but no. Right, well, I'll ask the wino back in, then you'll be sorry. He tells you his life story. All right, then. Thanks very much. I knew you was ghastly. I like sitting in front of the machines with a cup of tea in my hand, watching the old man's shirt looping round. Yeah, I suppose so. Especially if I imagine he's still inside it. I know what you mean. That would be marvellous, you know. If you could put everyone that bothers you into a machine and just watch them glugging at the glass door. I don't think my parents would fit in the machine. Oh, you want to put your mum and dad in there, do you? Why is that? Because they still do everything in the old way. The way it's always been done in Bangladesh. Because it's me who suffers from it. Oh, perhaps they just want what's best for you. But I was born in this country. I was brought up here. I've never been to Bangladesh. Yeah, we see mums and dads are like that. They think the way they was brought up is the right way for their children. I mean, you should hear my mum. Did your mother arrange your marriage for you? No. But she did enough talking about approving and disapproving. You chose your own husband, didn't you? So I'm not admitting to anything. Every woman chooses her husband in this country. Yes, but not necessarily for the best. But you make your own choice. You're responsible. Who can I blame? My father. Zayed's father. It's not that he's bad. He isn't bad. It's just that I feel let down. I can't explain why. He's a good man, but I still feel let down. I really... He's so stodgy. I really wanted something else. I don't know what. I don't know what to do.